What is up guys and welcome back to another series. You might have seen in a video a few weeks ago I made up a concept for the mod source server or just a mod source pack it just involves blood magic and the the concept was blood magic golf and I've just decided today we're going to start building that golf course in Minecraft. Half of you maybe I don't know are like oh golf and we'll just click away right now if so, well, you're missing out, because I'm going to make this golf course epic in Minecraft. I've installed, welded it into the mod source pack. I thought this was a bit ironic. Look, Minecraft, undefeated. Oh, notch. Good on ya. Um, so yeah, uh, I I just had a random seed, and I was just like, perfect seed. So, I'll show you what we got to work with. Uh, this episode, we'll probably just be building the clubhouse. And then the next episode, it might be, I'll try and make this 10 episodes. Uh, this is going to be a mini-series. The Mod Cave is not going anywhere. That's just going to be put as another series, because I'm really uh, excited to build this. Like, I have inspiration to do this. Uh, let's zoom in. So yeah, this huge mountain area. Uh, if we go, this huge mountain area, I want to try and build the club room about here, and then I'm going to have all the golf course around this big mountain here, this is going to be a centerpiece. Uh, and yeah, so it might come out as well, I might make this a lake. But yeah, I have, let's get rid of that. No, that's not the button. I have World Edit installed, and I've got the air sigil, which is the main focus of Mod Golf. Because Ender Pearls, sure you can, where is it? Can I do that? Yeah. I was just going to maybe just go into uh, advanced genetics and give myself a uh, throw enderpearl command. I need that back. But uh, enderpearls only work in game mode 1. And sure it's all good throwing an enderpearl like that. But but yeah. We want to do the oh, uh, game mode 1. We want to... Oops. I'm too used to wand. Um, yeah. The, the, the rules are made up is you'll be standing on a certain spot and you'll have three clicks of the air sigil per shot. So I can be like one, two, three. And you can't move. You, you, your hand is not on the keyboard. You can only use your mouse. And then it's just like a goal to try and get into the hole with as many, with as less, as many, as least shots as possible. So yeah, uh, I'm going to, we'll, we'll clear this out and we'll see what we got to work with. I don't really want to clear as many trees as I would like, but just let's clear out this little area here. So this is where I want... Oh, it's a flower forest. Silly flowers. Uh, let's replace near uh, in a radius of 30. Is it, is it radius first? What's... Re oh, repellus. Silly. Replace near... Uh, okay, so size is 30 radius. We want to replace uh, leaves with zero. And we want to do the same for wood. Cool. So we've got an area to work with. Hmm. Maybe a tad more. We can always put the trees back. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to get the foundations down for the club rooms, and then I'll be right back with you guys, and we're going to start building this clubhouse. It's going to be fun. Okay, so we've got the size of the building we want. Let's go over here, and frame drop as always when I start recording. Silly hard drive. Uh, let us copy this region. So we've got the, the bottom floor, and we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's what we want the first story to be. We'll paste it there. We'll go up another five. And that's where we want the second story to be. So it's first story, floor, second story. Uh, I'm not sure. Should we actually... Do we want to be smart about this? Since we want a different ceiling and different... Oh, we do have micro blocks though. Because I was thinking, if we come back down here and paste again, that means we'll have at least... One, two, three, four, five. We'll have a gap where we can have a, a ceiling to the first floor. And then we can have a floor to the second floor. How does that look? Does that look good? 
Yep. That looks good. We're just getting the frame. This is not the color scheme we're going for. If it was, it would be a bit weird. And okay, so from the second floor, uh, there's the windows and we'll fill in probably here. And here the windows will be two or three high. Probably three high. Uh, from here, uh, this is where the top of the second floor will be be kept. So then we want to come out one for the roof. And I'll probably do a layer around here with, with blue wool. Let's do blue wool. Like so. And once that's all around, we will want to start getting the angle of the roof. Now, I was thinking we might have a centerpiece to this thing. So where's the center? It's right here. So maybe we'll bring out, we'll go right there, we'll go here. Why not? We'll go right there and right there. That's why I've got lines here. So you can have even increments up. Uh, we'll just kill all of this. And I want to bring this up five so we can copy this bit. And they'll step this up five. So one, two, three, four, five. Paste. Whoops, we did not copy. Okay, we will copy this. And we'll step up five. And paste. Is that five up or is that four up? That's good. That's stepping up the same amount we need. And is that good or should we do one more? Yeah, I want a centerpiece. So let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll paste that here as well. Cool. So this is going to go back as well. So there'll be a cool center window right here for the main clubhouse. Uh, we want to probably raise this up one. I want another bit there. So I want the roof to be quite good. Uh, oh, we need to get the other bit first. I think it... There's just let's chuck this down to 10 chunks for now. I think it's my render distance that's causing me grief. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I want to go around again and start the roof from here. I want there to be a trim. And then... Yeah, I'm going to go around like this again. And then once I have gone around, I want to try and get the camber of the roof. Is camber the right word or is it slope? I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to be using carpenter's blocks for... Where are we? Carpenter's blocks. Do we have a tab of your own? E no, they don't. That's sad. Wait, is that... Yeah, there we go. Uh, I usually use these slopes here, but we're going to be using the collapsible block. And the way I'm going to do it is if we plop one down, we can just start tipping away at the corners. Okay, we have to right click. Right click with the... Oh, left click, right click. I have my right click and left click really screwed up. Uh, but we'll see, I'm just going to tap away with the corners like so and get them down to about the same height like that. And now tap away with these corners. Oh, have to be down here. Like that. And it'll be a really cool incremental slope. We'll chuck it there. Can I copy this? Per oh, dang it. Where did it? That sucks. But yeah, <laughs> I'll do a really fine slope, but I might do them in twos or threes. We'll try two, and then we'll try three over here. We'll see what they look like. I'm going to go for the increments of 2, only because when I did increments of 3, it didn't actually come up that high. And I need the roof to make some sort of effect from down below. And you can see from here, you can still can't really see the roof. Uh, so we're going to stack it across and see how it looks as a plan. So I'm going to... I've already copied the area. Oh no. Uh, all I need to do is uh, stack. I've just copied the 1 and I want to stack it 20 times. Now, how does that look as a slope? Is that too steep or is that not steep enough? We'll come down to a level where we'll be looking at it. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're wondering how this is going to be incorporated, I did not mean for this to line up perfectly. 
uh, this is going to go back this way and it's going to attach to the other side of the of the clubhouse so we'll come back all the way here um, hmm I'm not sure if that's steep enough hmm because that's gonna be the centerpiece I'm not sure I can't really visualize it and then another piece is going to come out from here maybe it's because it's not overhanging enough should I overhang one more hmm I think I should overhang one more let's try that okay I got the roof design all nailed down and ready you might be thinking why is it pink it's pink because you guys can see it. Uh, I had it as black, but you can't really see anything as black. So I made it pink. But yeah, that's the design for the roof. Very simple, very classic look. Uh, you might be seeing these pillars now. These are going to be the veranda or the, the deck. Deck. D-E-C-K. Accent makes it sound like something different, but it isn't. So yeah, this will be like looking over... The golf course looking over the final hole coming in maybe the 18th hole will come here over over a lake that i make there but yeah that's the design i was going for we could have like a little basement going into here where all the golf carts are stored because everyone needs a golf cart to drive around in uh so yeah i'm going to start working on the exterior i want some sort of like sandy brick is it called is sandy brick in here from railcraft Come on, in here, work, sandy. Ooh, sandy dirt. I'm sure Railcraft is in here. Is it not? Railcraft? Hello? No? That's a bummer. Railcraft is some of the best blocks in the game. Okay, I'm going to find some cool blocks. We're going to make a color palette and we'll get started. Okay, I've come up with a color palette for the build. Uh, the sort of stony, sandy build. So I've got sandstone, of course. That's going to be the most of the base flooring. And a couple of the accent blocks. Accent to try and... Uh, as What's it called? It's like the opposite opposing color. I don't know. But yeah, the opposing color to the stone, limestone, concrete design will be spruce wood and a bit of orange wood and yeah so that's the color design i'm going for so this is what i've got at the moment uh it looks the orange posts stick out too much uh but apart from that uh the color scheme's going pretty good i've got the sandstone for the floor there the limestone for the main pillars uh the concrete for the main uh house clubhouse pillars i'll get rid of these and I used the, the carpenter's slopes for like a sort of uh, meshy overhang for like a sort of tarpaulin. I don't know what they're called actually. Leave in the comments. Tell me what they're called. I have no idea. Uh, so we'll get rid of these because they're too eye-focusing. Uh, eye-focusing. Good words tonight, Schnooks. Good words. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I still have to do the roof. So yeah, the black contrasts the whole build right now. So... We're not going to look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good for 10 minutes of putting blocks in place. I like it. I think it's a bit uh, bit skinny right now because I haven't actually filled in anything. Uh, I might actually... Hmm. How are we going to do that? Because these are going to be windows. Uh, let's go... What does chisel have for glass? I don't think I like the chisel glass because it has a border, right? Yeah, it has that silly border that I don't like. I usually like to use the Tinker's Construct. Uh, is it just Tinker's? Yes? Maybe? No, it's not that. Uh, we'll just go to Tinker's Construct Blocks. If we can find it straight away. Tinker's? No? Hello. There we go. Is it in here? No. Materials. There we go. Should be... Blocks. 
I had it eventually. Oh, they've got some nice blocks in here too. Okay. Where are my glass? There's a glass I like. Black stained glass because I want tinted. Do we want... We probably want panes as well because panes give it more depth. So we'll chuck... Ah, oh, what? I thought you... Yeah, okay, so that's silly. Panes, why are you no connect? They actually look... I don't know. We'll, we'll put them side by side. Hmm. From a distance. I reckon the panes, yeah. We want some sort of pain look to it. So what if we did uh, two different shades? So we had black for the outside. We'll do it here. We have black for the outside like so. And then for the inside. What do you reckon? Yeah? Yeah. This is still really skinny. Uh... Like, my first initial thought, panel, uh, let's find a sandstone panel real quick, we'll chuck one of those, that was silly, went in the boot spot. I wanted to try and get a panel like that thick here, and that won't go there now will it? No. Hmm, that's my only concern. Half slab? We might push this in one. So if we find half slab, or just, sorry, slab. Half slab's a quarter slab. We always gotta remember that. And let's find the sandstone real quick. Wait, we're going through the chisel now. There we go. So we'll grab a half slab. And we will chuck that in here. Bam, bam, bam. It's just a corner, it's going to be a bit iffy. Because if we have the corner here, then I want to start the panel back here. So we'll start the panel, grab that, boop, and we'll put that there. We want to push this all back one, so we'll bring the wall, oh, that's not the block we want, we want this block here. And we'll bring it back one like that. And we'll bring this up, up. And we'll see if this connects. We'll have a look how this would look. Come out the front. Indented. Hmm. I reckon. Ooh. What do you guys reckon? Leave me. Comment one for indented. We we'll actually should fill this bit. We can't fill that in, can we? Hmm. Yeah, like that. That's better. And we can fill that in too. So yeah, comment one for that one, two for that one. Yeah, we'll leave the windows for today. We'll come back to those later. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do some more building and I'll bring you guys back. Oh man, that's coming along so nice. Oh, look at it. I found living wood from, I think it's Natura or Biomes of Plenty. It's a really dark oak because dark oak is not dark enough. It looks really orangey and it looked too similar to the spruce. So I got some living wood up here. And as you can see, I put the carpenter's slopes. I've started working with those. Uh, oh, they're so hard. They're so annoying trying to connect. I'm lagging out, but I'm not. Like, every time I try and click one of these, my game lags, but when you stop and you look back, it's fine. But yeah, that is going... That's looking awesome. I chuck some cobble behind here to give it some sort of solid base to it. That'll be changed in the future. I'm probably going to finish the rest of this off camera, because we're running a bit long today. But I don't want to do episode 2, building the exterior. I'm going to get this design done. I'm going to wrap it around the side because this this side and the back is still empty. <laughs> and we'll either work on the interior next episode or we'll start working on the first and second and third hole. I want to try and get two, uh, 
two or three holes done per episode. So we can get this done in like 10 episodes and then we can chuck, we'll see if we can schematic this into the Primus server as like a cool mini game somewhere. Or maybe even XB and Topmass might have a go at this, maybe, if I get this done. Because the guys on, even Zildjian was quite keen to have a go at this when it was done. But yeah, there's the clubhouse starting off. Mod source golf, or just blood magic golf to come. Hopefully we can get this done in a few weeks. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, like, I just want to know from you guys, what could we add to mod golf? Like, we had the blood magic, we had the air sigil, but what else could we add from the mods that could make this, like, modded golf more modded related? Is there any mods that, like, we get caught in, like, there's, like, quicksand, so if we get caught in there, like, you, you start drowning or something like that, or something nifty, like uh, a teleporter block that you can, maybe, like, an Ender.io teleporter that if you land on, you can teleport forward, like, 50 blocks, and it's, like, a shortcut. Uh, leave your suggestions of what we could add to make this really fancy or even just your ideas for the build. So yeah, again, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.